We are exploring a new theory that the staff of Moses, Aaron, Jesus, Muhammad, Merwin, and Arthur, as well as divine feminine prophetesses such as Isis, Sarah, Mary Magdalene, and more, that their staffs were used as an electrical antenna designed to amplify the electricity of the human nervous system into a divine radio signal, telepathy to God. Doing a simple experiment, when we get a weak signal on the radio and we place our hands on the antenna, the signal mysteriously improves. This is scientific proof that we are likened to an antenna that receives messages from the beyond. It was proven by German physicist Fritz Albert Popp that the human DNA transmits and receives radio waves. This proves the hypothesis that humans can interface with radio frequency antennas. For the staff of legends we are speaking of to be an actual antenna, we have to know its length. With the exact length, we can determine the radio frequency of the gods. This is because the height of an antenna, using positive and negative charge today, is equal to half a wavelength. The length of the antenna, or staff times two, equals a full wavelength. The frequency of an antenna is calculated with a simple formula. The speed of light in inches divided by the full wavelength of the antenna. So if we know the length of the staff of Moses and the other legends in inches, we can know the frequency they used to talk to God. What a great revelation this could be. Did the God of the ancient world appear to the prophets 
in a huge flying spaceship. Was this giant craft of God and the angels used to block out the sun during the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and the miracle of the sun at Fatima, Portugal, in 1914? In the book of Enoch, the first biblical prophet, Enoch is taken to heaven in spirit and comes before a mighty throne with jets of fire rushing underneath as if this throne were a spaceship about to take off. Was this throne actually a crystal spaceship that took Enoch from earth? I looked and I saw a windstorm coming out of the north, an immense cloud with flashing lightning and surrounded by brilliant light. The center of the fire looked like glowing metal. Was this metal the structure of the craft? Did the prophets communicate with God in these giant crystal spaceships with their antenna staff? The Gospels make it clear Jesus was crucified during the Jewish festival of Passover, which always is celebrated during a full moon in the spring. But a new moon is needed for a solar eclipse to occur, making the theory that it was a solar eclipse, causing the skies to darken for three hours. The dark part of an eclipse of the sun is only a few minutes. So how do we explain three hours of darkness? unless we consider the theory that a giant craft of God blocked out the sun in the local region only. It is little known that Jesus used the same staff as Moses in the Bible. Mark 6. Jesus urges the disciples never to forget their staffs. Exodus 4.20 And Moses took his wife and his sons and set them upon a donkey. And he returned to the land of Egypt, and Moses took the staff of God in his hand. Can a spiritual temple act as a frequency tuner receiver to a specific frequency? Can the frequency vibrate within the stone walls of the structure? To find the answer, we have to know the exact measurements of the temple. That is because the structure represents a solid state wavelength, and a wavelength is a frequency. Accurate measurement is the key. The hidden mathematical code that unifies the sacred temples of the prophets of God to the Great Pyramid is the true royal cubit inch, while 20.6 to 20.8 inches is based on a few measuring rods discovered in Egypt. The Bible uses the word cubit rather than royal cubit. The prophet Ezekiel appears around 620 years before the time of Christ. Ezekiel receives a vision of the new temple from an angel of God bearing a tall staff of six cubits. Ezekiel 43 verse 13 Dimensions of the altar. These are the measurements of the altar in cubits. The cubit is one cubit and a handbreadth. The interesting fact about Ezekiel is the sacred Holy of Holies, the cube that houses the Ark of the Covenant, remains a 20 by 20 by 20 cubit temple. This means that the previous temple may have been wrong in its measure. This fatal error may be why it did not stand, because it did not resonate at the correct frequency. The Great Pyramid shows in 14 places of repeatable and reliable 20.605 modern inches per royal cubit exactly. If we measure the temples of the prophets with the most true royal cubit inch, 20.605 inches, we will unify all of them into the same codes that the architect of the Great Pyramid used. Was the pyramid designed by God? Holy of Holies, 20 royal cubits by 20.605 inches equals 412.1 inches. The 4121 is the most common unit measured in inches inside the Great Pyramid. It is expressed as two royal cubits. Half of 41.21 is a true cubit at 20.605 inches. The fact that the Holy of Holies adds up to the same number, 4121 with the decimal moved over means there is a connection via the architect of the Great Pyramid 
to the Holy of Holies. With a Holy of Holies 20 cubits times 20.605 inches, we get 412.1 inches divided by 12 inches per foot. The Holy of Holies produces the double number series of 34.34 feet. That is 34.34 feet accurate to 1 one thousandth of an inch, which means its radius is 17.17 feet. Even more astounding. Now if we use the 20.605 royal inches for the Ark of the Covenant and the Staff of Moses and Aaron, we take 20.605 times 2.5 cubits long, we get 51.5125 inches. Now we see the double five one, which is consistent to code of the Great Pyramid, because the Great Pyramid slope angle is 51 degrees and 51 minutes. Does this mean the Ark belonged inside of the Great Pyramid? Now if we take Noah's Ark, God told Noah to make the Ark 300 cubits times 20.605 inches per cubit equals 6,181.5 inches. 618 is golden ratio number. Guess how many feet 6,181.5 inches equals? 515.125 feet long for Noah's Ark. This is Great Pyramid number again, and the same code number that the Ark of the Covenant is in inches, 51.5125 inches, with the decimal moved over one position to the left. Noah's Ark is 515.125 feet. The code tells us that God is the architect of the Great Pyramid. So with the Ark at 51.5125 inches and the staff at 51.5125 inches and Noah's Ark at 515.125 feet, we know they operate at the same wavelength and frequency. That means they are in communication with the Great Pyramid. Could they be drawing off the pyramid's power? Does the staff holder gain access to all of that power? With the staff of Moses and Jesus at 51.5125 inches, its wavelength as a monopole antenna connected to Moses' body and Jesus' body would be its length times 4, which is precisely 17.17 feet. The precise radius of the Holy of Holies in Solomon's Temple, which is the home of the Ark of the Covenant and the staffs of the 12 tribes of Israel. But guess what else? Both the king and queen's chamber in the Great Pyramid of Egypt are exactly 17.17 feet wide, and the king's chamber length is precisely the same length as the Holy of Holies in Solomon's Temple, 34.34 feet, which is a double wavelength of the staff. In the Dead Sea Scrolls Temple Scroll, now proven to have been written in ancient times with some kind of actual printing technology, God gave Moses the inner dimensions for a new, larger Holy of Holies of 280 cubits square. 280 cubits times 20.605 inches equals 480.783 feet the precise height of the finished Great Pyramid of Egypt. That is an astounding connection of the God of Moses to the Great Pyramid of Egypt, proving God is claiming the Great Pyramid of Egypt as its own. Now the length of the staff at 51.5125 inches is Eight lengths to equal the exact length of the Holy of Holies at 20 of God's cubits, which is the same as the King's Chamber length in the Great Pyramid. Four lengths to equal the radius of the Holy of Holies in Solomon's Temple, which is the King and Queen's Chamber in the Great Pyramid width. 112 lengths of the staff is the exact height of the Great Pyramid. 112 as a number of Hebrew numerology means the Lord God. Is the Great Pyramid coated with the Lord God and the staff was its transmitter, receiver? Get your staff today at davidsarita.co